June 27, the Mac Adams Recreation Center in Wichita, Kansas was host to the first ever Kansas Creeks meeting. The event was an opportunity for citizens that live out of the jurisdiction to fellowship and learn about important programs offered by the tribe. The Muscogee Creek Nation Election Board and Citizenship Office were also on hand to enroll new citizens and register them to vote. Muscogee Vision spoke with event sponsor and Creek citizen Eli Grayson about the goals for the meeting. So they can get to know each other and know who's Creek up here so they can create a community, get to know each other, start lobbying the tribe collectively on, you know, listening to what they have to say, you know, instead of just asking for their votes during the elections, that they're here beyond the elections. They're up here, they're needing services, or even if they don't need any services, at least they get to know their other, their other creeks up here. Let's expand the culture up here, the traditions. If they want to do tribal programs as far as learning the language and history and things, just getting to know one another. The same thing in California, you know. And then there's a lot of federal services up here in, in Kansas because of the tribes that are up in Kansas that they're entitled to. And the only way they can learn these programs is by collectively asking about these programs. Not just one person showing up at these Indian organizations, but an organization showing up saying we're representing the Creeks in Kansas. Uh, they can learn about the tribal programs like higher education is one, you know, uh, the social human services programs that deal with at-large citizens, they can learn about that, you know, but the reality is only because most of these programs are income related. A lot of people want to, won't be able to qualify for them, but still, they can get an organization going up here and whatever they want to do with that organization they can do with deal with that organization whether it's getting together for cultural stuff or family picnics or whatever just to get to know each other there's another creek who's my neighbor living in a small town like wichita we can meet every month and get and become a community you know you know, the reality is, the way our tribal government is set up, it doesn't matter where you live. Particularly with the internet, with social media, on and on. Even though you live in Wichita, you actually get information like that. This isn't where you needed a smoke signal anymore. You, you get instant information about the tribe. So, it doesn't matter where you live. You know, you can vote. You know, you could be at the table of the Creek Nation, even though you live here, you know. So, federal programs are limited from what they can do, but not tribal programs, you know. So, um, that's all it's informational affairs, what this, what this is about. And if they want to take the next step in forming a community among themselves, and maybe several communities, because Wichita is pretty big, but if they wanted to form a community, then they can get to know one another, they can find out who their neighbors are, they can decide they want to have another meeting next month or the, or the month after or a Christmas program or whatever, you know. They could do that themselves, you know. Um, I don't think anybody should get enrolled in a tribe for something. I think they should get enrolled in the tribe because they are going to be responsible for other creeks, you know. So, um, I mean, that's one of my pet peeves. Why get enrolled if it's all about you getting something, you know? It doesn't make any sense. You know, get enrolled because you got something to offer. And if it's just lifting tables, get enrolled. If that's all you got to offer, get enrolled for that.